here's how to reach more viewers by taking any content of yours and reproducing it in almost any language using AI. Aqui está como alcançar mais es... Anata no contentu o hobo subete no de suru koto de yori Esque tu que langue alet de nia As you can see from my quick examples here, it's now possible to take any video and using AI, dub your video into more than 30 different languages. Adding voiceovers in different languages can help you reach wider audiences with your videos. In this video, we'll compare three AI power tools, Eleven Labs, Dubbers, and Speechify, to dub your videos automatically into languages like Spanish, French, German, and more. Let's first look at Eleven Labs. This is the dashboard you will see after creating your account. Now, you might not be aware of this, but we have several successful YouTube channels in other niches. One of those niches is a channel all about heart disease. And as you can see, it has almost 300,000 subscribers. A lot of hard work goes into our niche channels, and now we're going to be able to reach even more viewers by dubbing these into other languages. Look at this video as you can see it already has 5.7 million views. For the first example project in 11 labs, I'm going to dub this video into Portuguese. Let's go to our options and click on the fourth one, which is dubbing. We can translate audio and video into 29 languages for different content types, including TV shows and feature length films. So let's get started with our dubbing project. As you can see, we can name our project here. Let's type on test. This is the name that I will give it. And we can select a source language and a target language. We can also upload a file that we have saved in our computer and drag it here. Or we can just choose a YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Vimeo, or any other URL link. Let's click here, go to YouTube, and I've selected this video on seven kinds of fish you should never eat. Let's click on share, copy the link, paste it here, and let's select our languages. So for our source language, let's go with English and for our target language, let's select Portuguese. Let's click on create. As you can see, we will have our project listed here. So we will see the name of it, the language, the status of it, in this case it's downloading, and when it was created. Okay, so here we go. We can remove, download, or view our project in this place. So let's click on view and then click on play. Welcome to our video on 10 more fish you should never eat. Our last video on 7 fish you should never eat was a hit. Bem-vindo ao nosso vídeo sobre mais 10 peixes que você nunca deve comer. Nosso último vídeo sobre 7 peixes que você nunca deve comer foi um sucesso. Isn't that amazing? Firstly, I love how it sounds just like the original speaker's voice. Just that instead of speaking English now, he's talking in Portuguese. Secondly, I'm very impressed by how it closely matches his emotional tone and expression. That will be particularly important in the future if dubbing a video that has someone on camera. Now let's see another one I have already dubbed into Spanish. This video is about seven worst foods that can cause body liver and block arteries. So let's click on view and click on play. If you have a fatty liver, your chances of having blocked arteries is much higher. We're about to reveal the worst foods that cause it and also lead to blocked arteries. Si tienes hígado graso, tus probabilidades de tener arterias bloqueadas son mucho mayores. Estamos a punto de revelar los peores alimentos que lo causan. As you can see, this is a very user-friendly tool. The voices sound very natural and we can create custom features to have more control over our projects. Next up is Dubbers, a tool that allows you to dub videos into 30 languages and you can also create subtitles. To dub our project, we just need to click on Create, then click on Dubbing, and we can paste our YouTube link here. We can also choose 
any URL from TikTok, X, Facebook, or Vimeo. So let's go to YouTube, and I've chosen this one on five drinks that actually lower blood pressure. Let's click on share, copy the link, go to Dubverse, paste it here, click on the arrow. As soon as we start, we can choose on how many speakers do we want, the input language, if we want background music or not, and we can also save our project in any folder we want. Let's click on choose the speakers. As you can see, some speakers have a crown next of their names, which means they are part of the pro subscription. So let's first choose our target language. Let's see what we have. And let's go with Italian. Let's search for our speaker. And here we go. If we click on play, il mio nome è sorcia, il mio coinvolgimento potrebbe contribuire. We'll be able to listen to our speaker and then we can click on plus to select it. Let's click on let's dub. Okay, here we go. Let's click on play and see dub verse in action. Sapevi che ci sono bevande specifiche che potrebbero essere la chiave per controllare la blood pressure? In questo video riveliamo 5 bevande naturali che non sono solo scientificamente provate per... This is so cool! If you see that any word is misspelled or you just want to change it, you can click here on Edit with AI, select the word, change it, and that would be it. You can also choose between the preferences, and you can change formality, tone, voices, or gender. And as soon as you're good to go, click on Close. We can also use the timestamp here to change or rearrange the speed because it might be too fast or too slow. We like that you can match the dubbing voice to your original video's voiceover style and you can choose from male, female, and more. And this way, effectively expand your audience globally. Finally, we have Speechify, which selling points are its versatility and convenience, allowing us to dub videos over 100 languages. So let's try it out. Let's click on New, click on AI Dubbing, and we can also upload or drop files here or paste any YouTube link in here. Let's go to YouTube and for this one, I've selected this YouTube video about eating burgers. Let's click on share, copy the link, go to Speechify, paste the link here and, and we can choose if we want to add any speaker and we can select the language of the video, which in this case is English. Let's click on submit. And here we go. As you can see, there is a slight difference between the other tools that we have reviewed and Speechify. Here is where we select the language we want to dub our video to. So let's click on the drop down and select any language we want. Let's go with German. And also, we can choose any voice we like. Let's go with Evan and click on Generate Translation. And here we go. Let's click on Play. Hamburgern, denkt man vielleicht nicht sofort an eine herzgesunde Ernährung. Schließlich hat man uns jahrelang gesagt, dass der Verzehr von gesättigten Fetten, wie sie in roten Fleisch vorkommen. This is absolutely amazing. One thing I really like about this tool is that we can create new translations in the same project. So let's try it out. Let's click on create new translation, click on the drop down and choose another language. Let's go with Japanese. Choose the voice. Let's go with Andrew and click on generate translation. And now that it's ready, let's click on play. I believe this is so cool. And the voices are very alike as the original version. What do you think? So which of our AI voice generation tools is the best for voice dubbing? Well, firstly, Dubbers and Speechify do things differently than Eleven Labs. Dubbers has a lot of built-in voices that you can choose from your dubbed audio, and Speechify just allows you to select male or female. And even though the dubbed audio from both companies sounds great, they won't likely to resemble the voice of the original speaker. With Eleven Labs, I find that the dubbed voice that comes out sounds just as the original speaker's voice, just that he or she is now speaking in another language. 
it does this by listening to the voice of the original recording and just tries to match it. So you don't manually need to clone the voice for it to do this. That's just how Eleven Labs works by default. This might not be an essential feature for you, but if it is, Eleven Labs is the best for generating a doc that more closely resembles the original speaker. While Speechify does offer voice cloning for text-to-speech, but at the time of recording, it's not for use in the actual dubbing into other languages. All of these three tools are easy to use, and any one of them will be beneficial for voice dubbing. But if you want the highest quality voice, then Eleven Labs for me is a clear winner because it also preserves the emotional tone and style of the original speaker. So what do you think? Have you tried these platforms yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we'll keep bringing you more AI marketing tips, tools, reviews, and more. Plus, here's another AI tool that you should take a close look right away. We hope this video has helped you make an informed decision. See you again soon.